Okay, so uh, my last video was um, me trying out the metallic um, denim steel, um, and I also had custody of purple that I ran through too. Um, the steel I wanted to use on my sides from where um, I used to have shaved sides and it's grown out and I've bleached them all up and they're quite light. Um, I've just woken up, hence why my hair is a mess. Um, and in the tops here where it really did take. Um, so the Costa Rica is obviously this purple. Um, it's a bit brighter in the sunlight. It's more purple. It looks real pink on camera. It's fucked as. But, um, so that's what that came out like. This is a couple of days now. This is fucking nearly a week since I did that. Um, and I have just received in the mail some crazy colour, which I have never used before in my life because I usually use um, Arctic Fox and it's usually my favourite because it's always like, and yes, Purple Rain always washes out to like this lavender sort of um, colour and then it comes down to like a pale hot pink because I have no idea why I'm presuming it's the base tones in it. Um... But at first, Purple Rain's always, you know, and so is the Poseidon, um, which I usually mix together or I put in different places and whatnot. But I've never tried this before. Um, so this is Capri Blue. And um, it's pretty... It looks quite similar to Arctic Fox colour. Like, it's more blue in real life. Like, the colour's actually blue. It's not, I guess, in the right light. But this um, is like a... It's almost like um, the colour I get when I mix um, Purple Rain and Poseidon with just a little bit of Poseidon. It goes to that more bluey sort of purple. Um, oops, so I would love to see what this is going to be like um, on top of this purpley sort of um, lavender colour. If it's even going to go over it, I don't know. Arctic Fox usually does. I've got a few videos of my washed out colours and me putting blues over top of purples that's washed out um even not long after they've washed out and they take real well so I don't know if this is going to take this take this because this is a different you know you know what it's like when you have different colours you don't know how fucking strong they really are and stuff until you try but um so I'm just going to do a test first I'm going to try it on um, and because my hair's been plaid up, because, you know, I was waiting for this colour to come, and I didn't really want to wash it, um, as you can see, this is silver as, um, some lights it looks a little blonde, but it's actually that colour right there, um, all over my front and sides, so, hoping fully, I can get comfy we can try this out because I've been waiting for like four days for this to arrive um I live in rural areas so it takes a little longer um for it to come so I will do a little test strand and then I'm going to leave that and I'll continue the video after that um show you what it's sort of sitting like it might, it might take straight away, um, which I'm presuming it will. Um, and then I will carry on the video with a full, with a full head and um, see what it takes like. So we'll just get a little bit on our finger. Um, I don't usually wear gloves um, because I'm just a freak, but... When I did a little test spot, it stained a blue, you know, and that was quite... It's a bit thinner than um, some of the colours I've used, like... Um, but I have seen they have their height range, which is, like, their pigmented colours. So I could keep, you know, half of this and buy a couple bottles of some random colours and make this really fucking, you know, poppy poppy. But I did think I'd, I'd try this colour first. Um, they are real cheap. This was... $15, um, shipped, so, yeah, now my question from me personally was going to be, 
how well will this take because it's quite a thin blue like it's not like real dark like Poseidon Poseidon and some of the other color ranges I've tried are like a real crazy deep blue like really similar to this but just not as thin if that's the right word I don't know if this is going to go like bright baby blue or if this is going to go bright deep sea blue sky blue sort of a color um, I have no idea because obviously I usually use arctic fox um, but I'm going to layer onto this quite quite heavily um, this test strand and we will see how well it goes but at the moment it's it's blue it's almost the color of this just a bit deeper my gloves um I mightn't be happy with this color because it looks kind of like bubblegum blue and I've seen bubblegum blue on online and I don't know I don't know if it's gonna take like that I mean to my eye it's blue like you know like a blue blue like on there it's kind of looking like a baby blue but on my eyes it's like a deep deep blue so cameras always lie I can tell you that much they add 10 pounds they take away 10 pounds no, but um, so yeah, with color shading, it's kind of hard to say because um, it does look like a baby blue, bubblegum blue on the camera. It's so crazy, and it's like not, it's like a dark blue. <sighs> so maybe that's also why a lot of people are seeking these reviews so much because the thing is, is on the camera, it's it looks totally different to what it actually looks like on people's hair in real life, and then we think, oh no, that doesn't even look like the color I want. Or something or rather um, but either way um, I'll get on to my the rest of this shortly I don't know how this is gonna take to this I really don't I have a feeling it's gonna either come out like a like a whole nother color because of the undertones of lavendery oh my god I got some there damn it lucky I'm doing my whole whole head but, um, so that's taking, I can see that that is definitely sticking. Um, so I'm going to leave this little teeny weeny bit for half an hour, and, um, I'll rinse it off, and we'll see what the fuck it's going to come out like, and if it comes out, you know, pretty cool, or something, um, then we can go from there. I might even do a test, actually, on this purple strand. Um, to see what it goes over that like. If I can find one a bit closer to the front of my head would be cool. Um, but I have a feeling because my hair is really silver. This underneath here is silver. Um, it always has been. I've always, you know, had the bleaching scenario going on where you're bleaching and you've always got to get your bands correct and bleach it a certain amount of times for it to lift properly and look even. Um, my hair throughout from you know if I were to pull my strand up from here you know I have a slight band it's only one shade deeper than this um if that maybe half a shade and it's only really right here in my root where I tried to bring the bleach up to here without actually touching my new roots because I wanted to keep my new roots um because I have a plan for maybe some ombres or something. But it's still, yeah, it's kind of, it's a bit difficult because um, the bleach set that I have is fucking really, really good. I believe it's Salon Smart um, bleach, bleach powder, and it works fucking incredible, you know. I only do a couple minutes at a time, five minutes at a time, and I'll do that a couple times until it's desired. Um color like the colors come up to whatever I like but um yeah it's it's really really good like it just it just seems to just turn my hair to fucking white real quick within two goes 99% of the time um and that's only probably a total of 10 minutes um you know application plus actually letting it sit on I, I don't probably put it on for more than 10 minutes in total with application purely because I don't want to damage my hair but it usually takes me two maybe three goes depending how well I've mixed the developer and the um, bleach um, but usually it takes pretty quick so 
it's um really really good shit and i don't really use fuck all of it at the time um of bleaching um which is a real good because it was it was real cheap i got it real cheap um like forty dollars i think for the both of them through covid um a business was selling some old stock um, and I didn't think that was too bad for a liter of developer and like a, nearly a kg of um, blue bleach So yeah, um, it's a good brand. I highly recommend that one um, But yes, yeah, so Well, this is definitely blue It definitely has got a similar color to Poseidon just not as wolfy Um Sort of. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I really don't. It looks like bubblegum blue in there. It looks like the same color as my gloves. Almost. Um, but yeah, so I will be back in um, half an hour and we'll see where this is going to take us. Okay, so it's been like 20 minutes since I put it on. Um, I did a test strand on the purple. I didn't obviously touch my roots in the purple, but it has definitely brightened up, um, big time. Um, like I said earlier, in the, in my reflection on my door or, you know, to my eye, it's fucking blue, like, I'm talking Poseidon blue, or maybe not this exact same, because it's not the same product, but it's that same sort of blue, um, Maybe a little bit lighter, just a fraction, but it's fucking blue, like, it is, to my eyeball, it's, it's like electric blue, um, it's taken pretty good over there, I'm presuming, um, I'm gonna probably leave this on my head most of the day, um, just to see how, how it turns out, um, sort of a thing, but it's definitely a deep, deep deep blue especially along here um it definitely took a little bit differently to this this is a little bit lighter only fraction i think it's because this did not have a purple underneath it where this is kind of mixing with this purple and um creating a bit of a deeper color like you would get if you mixed arctic fox Poseidon and arctic fox purple rain um but i'm kind of liking this so far it's definitely blue way bluer than my gloves way deeper way 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 brighter um it's probably really 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 hard to see on camera and it still looks bubblegum blue oh, a little bit there's kind of showing that deepness um certain lights it definitely looks bubblegum blue but it's really fucking not it's actually quite blue 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 um so since these colors i mean since these two test spots have gone great so far um, I am going to probably leave it on for another five minutes um, and rinse it to see what it sort of sits at at the half an hour mark after application um, for those that are only wanting to put it on for that half an hour or don't have the time to leave it on all day. Um, I do recommend to leave these sort of colours on. I actually usually leave them on overnight, um, especially Arctic Fox. I, it seems to just... When I'm when it's washing out, there's barely any color coming coming off. Um, I've had a lot of those other colors that you start seeing the color run out, and you've left it on for maybe an hour, or um, you know, just uh, cheaper brands, um, different different qualities or different um, formulations. Guess we could speak all scientific, um, but I'm liking it. I think this is gonna be good because I have been purple. Um, for a while, this sort of purple, like this lavender purple, for a wee while, because last time I did Arctic Fox was about, fuck, two, three months ago, and this is kind of what it's what it washes out to, and then I put um, a Costa Rica on top, because um, they don't, we can't get Arctic Fox to New Zealand anymore because um, of COVID, I'm presuming, so... Um, there are some places in New Zealand that had it in stock. Um, I'm presuming they're all out of stock because I can't find them on Trade Me no more. Um, there's a few companies that have, you know, different types of hair dyes at the moment, which I'm going to try them all as soon as I can. Um, like, what's it called? Stargazer, I think the brand is called. And there's a couple of other, like, um, 
redkin and things like this colors and stuff um but i wanted to try crazy color because i've seen some shit reviews about this shit like i've seen some people go this is crap um but i did watch this one on a on a chick who had like um bubblegum green sort of hair at the time sort of washed out and she put the capri blue and a little bit of purple hot purple i think it was um and it came out beautiful it came out really blue and poppy so i'm guessing you know it was because clearly you have to have very very silver hair for these to go katufa um they become quite dropped down in their poofiness um, when your hair is a little bit more yellower or that coming down the color chart from white and um also i think as well people may not have toned their hair with a blue or a purple and let it washed out and then try to color like this because i found that was definitely one thing that changed the way certain colors grab if you have that bleached hair it's fucking this color and you've put a blue straight onto it um and sometimes i mean give or take it, it takes and washes out pretty silver um, but some people, you know, would and could, and I sometimes do actually recommend to make sure that your hair is that yellow, yellow, if I can throw, not a toner like a, I mean, you could go a permanent toner, I guess, that's all fine and dandy, but, you know, if you're at the wrong level and you tone it, then you have to counteract that situation, um, to get back to the lighter, lighter colour to be able to tone that to become that near transparent um sort of um shade so you end up backtracking where i think you know a lot of chicks seems normal too that they would just please 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 until they get to yellow and then they think i'm sick of seeing yellow or i hate being this fucking yellow color and or it doesn't suit me or some fucking shit and then they go and throw a color on like pink or fucking whatever color they chose and then later on when it washes through they're back at square one again because there's other tones that have there's other things that have um you know it grabs differently and it especially things like pinks and reds they they leave fucking funny and then you got to get certain colors to counteract those colors and then you're back to fucking trying to get back to a silver you know where i usually stick to purples blues because i know they'll wash out to silver um i've seen some fucking cool pinks and purples that are not like the purple that washes out to a silver purely because of the other colors that are in it some of them have reds um some red tones even the um metallic denim silver i didn't actually think that that would have any red tones in it but it did um it had like i think it was fuck, something red color fucking 51 or some shit um but yeah, you, you, you know, you kind of got to work with those to be able to really, to get to these crazy colours. <laughs> um, call that promotions. <sighs> Pay rise. Nah. Um, but, you know, I've been doing my hair for years, as most people have, and I have learned the little tricks and the best things after bleaching, you know, I've, I've been that person that's like, oh my god, my hair's fucking yellow, like, right on my roots. Not ganger, not that orangey, brassy, one bleaching, maybe two bleachings that's still got that orangey tinges to it. Like, some of my roots, uh, some of the stuff close to my roots is, has that little bit of orange in it because of where the bleach is pushed through to and has, you know, um, kind of taken a little bit differently. Um, and never bleach... And keep re-bleaching your ends once they're at this sort of colour or that fucking white, you know, transparent sort of colour. Because as soon as you keep doing that, one, it's going to damage your hair. Two, you're going to get no changes and it's going to fall out. You know, if if you if people really want to have cool, crazy hair colours that are beautiful and majestic and fucking top notch, I really recommend not going with the bleach you know take your time because with me and i had a small band like probably about this big that was quite dark and then i had a, another band that was just a little bit out and that's just from bleach expanding over the times where i always do my hair i pull my hair out you know i'll brush it out or whatever and then i will place the bleach where i need it and i will not touch my ends
because if I keep doing my ends, they'll never be super soft like they are. Um, and I mean, some people may find that time consuming and things, but I really recommend it because I've seen some states of some shit and it is funny <laughs> and it is also terrible for them, obviously. But um, yeah, there's no point, like, I can't re bleach this. Like some of this here, the, there's no point in rebleaching that purely for the fact that it's already at that white stage. Um, there are some spots in my sides that are a little bit deeper, just a tiny little bit deeper, mostly because of my application and I was, you know, not putting it on correctly. I was rushing or um, fucking being lazy, you know, um, where some parts of my hair are just perfect you know through here I, I would never need to re-bleach this ever again especially where this purple's sitting because it's 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 silver you know it's completely silver underneath and that's because I used the certain blues and purples you need to use to get that yellow that is near transparent to tone down to a clean silver you know you don't want like a dark silver because that's when you're coming down levels you want that fucking near white silver like transparent and and you'll have colors that will stick like a fucking mad hatter on a crack mission so um it's probably been about half an hour now and although i am not a hair specialist no i am fucking far from it but i have experience with my own hair and i definitely recommend um taking your time and looking at color charts and how the science of it works because you'll be better off in the end um i've seen a few people do it on dark hair these colors and there's nothing it's really nothing compared to the colors that you'll get when you are silver or right on the last fucking legs of your hair technically um sort of i think but so what i'll do is i'll quickly go wash this out and i'll tidy up some shit and um we'll see if this is still sticking to my hair once it's washed um if it is then that's cool and i know that everything's always different when it's wet and dry but um i will probably dry it and and see what it looks like depending but it's taken it's sitting it's it's dark and we'll see um and then we'll go along and edit this video and tidy everything up. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've washed it out. I haven't used any um, surfants shampoos on it, but I have rinsed the colour. Um, I'm not going to dry it. I'm happy with the colour that it's come out wet. So it's being dry, it's going to be like... Um, I... I actually quite like that colour, I haven't been this sort of blue in a fucking long time. So I'm going to start with this side of the head and I'll do a full colour um, on it. Again, like I said, it's way more bluer than um, on the camera. But, we'll get away with this shit. I'll try my best to section this. Yeah, rightfully. Huh. I'm always so unprepared for these videos. I always do stupid shit. Then I have to just go all balls in and just fucking throw it on. I guess that's what we're going to do. Mostly because... Oh my god, I've got a big splodge on the deck. Fuck. Sorry. To the bond that I will not be getting back. Fuck! Okay, so, um, this shit kind of gets everywhere. <gasps> I'm gonna go sort of, you know, what's my call about? Like little section by little section and just run it through. Um. Really put the towel down, shouldn't I? I still am probably gonna leave this on all day, um, purely for the fact that it's definitely a lot runnier than um, 
acting fox a eh? like it's got it's a it's a it's a bit more movable um to a degree it just seems a little more yeah movable um, it's nice though it's a nice consistency I like I like this brand I do like I'm I'm quite enjoying the this brand um for the inexpensiveness of it and how it has you know some fucking shit reviews technically speaking I'm definitely liking the consistency I mean I have dropped it a few times because it is a bit thin I don't know if this whole this whole bottle is going to do my whole head though that is another question but there goes the instructions um, but we'll see we'll see if it takes takes my whole head I mean you know um, it's definitely I haven't used quarter of the bottle so far like I've really used fuck all really They make some really good points with this, um, with what they sent out, they explained. So, you know, Vaseline, etc. sort of things your head, so you have, um, a barrier. I actually learned that from a chick I used to know, um, who did hair dressing. She used to always Vaseline my forehead, when I was like 15, when she used to do my hair. Um, and it's a fucking lovely technique. Because it does, it works. It works like a charm. Um, so the colour that I had was the Costa Rica um, purple one. I've done the blue before. It's a bit more paler than most blues that you can get. Um, not a bad brand, but it's really going to only work if you've got really pre-lightened here. Yeah, I'm talking silver. Um, they do go on top of yellows, bleaches, of course they do, but then you get different depths depending what sort of depth your hair is at, um, as you probably know. But, there is some really cool shit out there, colour wise, I really can't wait to try their, the hype versions of these, with the extra pigments, because I saw only 5 drops added to a bit of conditioner, and the colour was fucking like poof, um, so I'd love to try that, because that shit would last forever, and I'd probably um, go crazy with it. And I guess you could use it as top-ups in your shower routines um, over time instead of always buying a new bottle for 15, 20 bucks every couple of months um, to be able to have that colour again in another um, in another uh, by you, you know, the time it's starting to wash through. So I am just about finished this side. I have quite, I have thick hair, but it's quite thin, um, because only some of my hair is long, because I shaved my head last year, this year, and it's only grown out about this much, so, um, and I was going to keep it growing, because I've had that hair, I had that hair cut for fucking long donkeys, long time, for at least... I don't know, maybe two years. So, yep, it's expected. Almost this colour. I've only used about just just above half um, on that colour. I think I'd need two if I had full full my full length here. Um, definitely, unless I'm pushed it down a little but then mind you I guess I don't know and, unless I, until I did that so my gloves are now dark blue not baby blue so um, it's really nice though it smells like it doesn't have a very like 
you know, Arctic Fox smells like bubblegum. Um, it doesn't have those sort of smells, it just sort of smells like hair salon shit, <laughs> like, you know, um, but it's nice though, it's not overpowering. It smells quite clean, and, um, is this vegan? Oh look, they've been going since 1977. When you finally get the time to read shit, eh? Fuck. Um, I'm presuming they are vegan. Rainbow Yekala. Peel there. Um, I don't think it says it on here. Um, that they're vegan. Like, it doesn't have a big label being like vegan or something, Carava. Or that there's no sulfants and shit in it, you know. Um, but I can see some shit in there, so most of this is um, huh, there's yellow in this. Number seven. It's bizarre. I guess yellow. Um It's pretty straightforward stuff, you know, nothing crazy, there's not like heaps of um, surfacants in it that are like, you know, for shampooing and things, things that dry your hair out, because I must admit when I wash this out, that piece, those pieces of hair strands were really soft still, like they didn't, you know, so it'll be cool to see what this is like once I wash it out and um, see how well it treats my hair, um, but it's going on real nicely. Yeah, it's like half a bottle left, easy. And in the sunlight now that the beautiful sun's come out, I can see those deep blues ripping. Bile sacks. I like it. I'm liking it. Especially for trying a new colour. I'm, I'm actually really, 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 ow, my finger. I'm very, very impressed. And I got free lollies. I mean, yeah. Order online. Um, this is from a this is from a different company though. I don't believe this is from Crazy Colors. It's from Here and More um, here in New Zealand. I think it's a company that sells products um, from overseas and stuff. Surprised they've even got any because of COVID. Um, I went to the supermarket to try and find colors like um, Electric Blue from Live because I've used that before, but it does wash out to be quite green. Um, I used to have to put Arctic Fox back over it when I could, when I received Arctic Fox, um, again in the mail, like when I was waiting for my hair colour to arrive from America, um, or Australia, yeah, I'd have, you know, those sort of colours in between to kind of, um, tidy up my hair colour at the time until it came, but yeah, once I put the side and back over top of it, it sort of ripped out those greens that were in it, I don't know. I don't know if everybody else has sort of had that experience with that live um, electric blue, but I definitely had some green tones to it. I, could, I actually thought when I first put this on my hand that there was green tones in this, and I was like, oh no, it's going to wash out real fucking ugly. Like a green fucking like you've been to the pools, and it's like, you know. That's another funny thing, actually. I've done my hair a few times and gone to the pools. Fuck my life. Did they hate me? <laughs> um... But yeah, I usually try and keep my hair out of the water whenever I go to the pools. Swim cap or tie it up when you're in the spa, because it does run. I say this from experience. Um, but no, it's not too bad, this colour. I'm kind of happy with it. When it comes out of my hand, it's quite purplish, eh? But when it's on my head, like, it's blue. So, good job on them. Uh, on the company that made this. I think Yael did a good good job um, formulating the colour. There's a lot of companies out there that make colours, eh? Like, honestly, I've seen Manic Panic. I remember I used to use Manic Panic and it never worked on my hair. Like, it just didn't take very well. Like, it was, like, you know, it, like, kind of took, but it was never, like, kapoofy, you know? Um, even when I had bleach blonde, that silver sort of level, um, it would be quite faded. Um, maybe I used the wrong type of blues back then. I don't know, but once I found Arctic Fox, man, I was hooked. 
fuck, I was hooked. I bought like 50 bottles of the shit. Literally, I'm not even lying. It lasted me like three years. I bought, I think I bought 14. 14 bottles and that lasted me nearly two years um, of upkeep and changing colour every couple of months. It always washed out, you know, you'd always have a pastel colour um, for months. Like, I remember I think the last time I did it when I was waiting for Xbox and I didn't want to use any other colour, um, I had six months of just faded pastel colours, eh? Um, and it, it lasts for a long time, so I cannot wait to see how long this lasts in my hair. I mean, I think I did a review, actually, on a washed out colour a couple months after I did it. And, um, the, uh, the purple ring. And I put Poseidon over top of it, and it took like a fucking maniac. It went crazy. Um, and it lasted months and months and months and months. You get that washed out um, colour, you know, for months and months and months. Like the third, fourth month, it starts really looking really faded and pastel um, Which is okay if, if that's what you don't mind for a while. And they don't wash out too bad. Especially the blue. The blue washes out beautifully to like that greyish, um, you know, goes down the blue chain pretty, pretty nicely. Um, purple always washed out with that pinky colour, it was not really my favourite um, at all to be honest, but if I mixed blue with it, it was alright, it didn't wash out too bad, um, sometimes you'd still get those funny colours, so um, this would be cool to say what colour it's going to wash out to in the long, long run. I'm really hoping that I've got it all over my head because it seems I've got it fucking everywhere here. Um, they say the process for 30 minutes and I'm going to be a crazy crack. <laughs> this is, yeah, I'm going to leave it on for a long time. I'm going to double soak this. My whole hair is covered now and I'm just going to go back over it again. Ever so slightly. It's not drying out. Like I've been doing this for what fucking 15 minutes. And give or take the 12 um, minutes of actual dyeing. It, it's still wet. So that's a good sign. Um, it's not drying out um, straight away because it's actually quite warm. It's probably nearly fuck, fuck knows. But it's hot. And it's only like fucking 8 in the morning. 9 in the morning something forever but I'm liking it you know it's 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 nearly similar to a lot of blows I've tried but I guess the thing that we see K is the how well it stays on your hair and how well it takes to your hair how well it's applied like application sort of if it's um easy to apply if it's um you know, if it's a cool colour in the end, and um, yeah, but I like it. I'm just gonna get any little bits that I've messed around my back. There's still quite a bit left in here. It sounds like there's fuck all left in there, but it's still heavy. I still feel the weight of it. Um, it's just having trouble coming out of the hole. But, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm kind of getting the chemical sort of salon smell hitting my nose and throat every now and then. That is a little strong. But I am in a well ventilated area, I'm outside, so it's just the way the wind's going. Um, but otherwise, I think it's a pretty good brand. Um, I'll have to do another review on this later on. I know a lot of people are just like seeking quick answers to colours and you know, how they come on, how they come out, uh, what the best one is, and things like this. But the real true answer is it all depends on what level your hair is. Eh? Um, because I've I've tried a lot of colours, a lot. 
and here in New Zealand we don't get a lot of colours so you know when the live um, the live colours came out um, at the supermarkets and you know the warehouse and things like this they were probably a very high high demanded product at the time um, and they were bad you know they did the trick some of them washed out funny colours because of their undertones or, or your undertones um, things like that it's kind of funny though because where I've got some on my arm Poseidon usually leaves that that's usually deep dark blue you know stain that's quite that's quite light but it's blue you know it's not like fucking it's not like a purpley blue like or a, um green blue it's blue like so um maybe it's because it's it's not supposed to stick to um hands and stuff very it's designed for hair but what i'm saying is some deep ass colors coming out of this yeah it's very deep 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 blue very deep blue um, might have missed some spots I'm just gonna run my hands so you know I think go ahead uh, pardon me go crazy with these colors you know just make sure your hair's light enough because you'll end up with another color you really will and I think a lot of people are seeking that simple answer you know, they go searching for videos, oh, what's the best purple to put on yellow? What's the best, what does it wash out to? What's the best blue? What's the, you know, how does it come out on other people's hair? And da 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 The real answer is, is you just seriously need to get your hair as light as you can without it falling out and without damaging it. Which is why I do mine every, I don't know, wee while, every wee while, um, when I feel it's soup too. Um, and I only do it for, like I said, 10 minutes at a time, because otherwise you may damage your hair, and, um, and also if the developer's not taking, like say you've mi mixed it incorrectly, and you've put it on your head, and you sit there for an hour, 45 minutes, half an hour, and think, oh yep, it's totally done it, and it's sitting on your hair, and it's not even mixed correctly, who knows what damage that's going to do. Um, you know, so you're best to work out the consistencies on a test strand like I did when I first started bleach my hair and making sure that you have enough time and you're not going to go, fuck, I just want to put a colour on it now. You know, I mean, everybody wants to do a lot of things, don't they? But sometimes you have to be very patient and smart about it because otherwise you'll be back at square one and you'll be sitting there searching for all these bloody videos going, what's the coolest blue? What the fuck can I put on my hair to make the orange go away? Da 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 da. You know, you can't. Like, well, you can, but it's never gonna. You'll be back at square one again trying to tidy that colour up later on, and then you might want to go brighter, and then you're gonna have to re bleach, and you, you're just doing the same fucking thing over and over. It's like double handling, you know? It's like, why work harder when you can work smarter? Um, so that's why I always do mine for a bugger all amount of time. You know, five minutes of actually processing, quickly apply it to your hair as fast as you can and leave it for five minutes. And um, that means that, or you can work it out from where you've placed it on each piece of your hair and give it a time. A um, little bit more complex, but you know, you won't damage your hair so much and you may not need to bleach it as much. You know, like I said, I bleached mine twice and I've got chocolate brown hair. You know, the way you mix your developer and the way that you, um, how many times you apply it and how you've applied it and things like this, if you're out in the open, if you've put it under a cap, you know, all these different, or like heat and tinfoil or some shit, you know, um, you know, have a good proper logical think about it because otherwise you'll be searching, searching, searching and long story short, my hair was silver. Um, some parts had little bits of um, a deeper yellow, some parts were this yellow, um, and only in tiny little parts of my strands, um, purely from different bleachings and it expanding, and then you have to work with that later on. And it's taken fantastically. Um, it's, it's as bright as you could probably imagine, and um, 
and it's a, I think it's a good brand. I think this has worked really, really well. Probably because I had the right hair colour in the beginning. Um, so, don't go make yourself sad by putting your hair, the hair colour that you want, on hair that is not ready for the colour. You know, everybody wants bright, crazy hair. Make sure that you're there prior. Make sure that it's that your hair is light enough to to really make have that popping colour. Otherwise, you're fucking just gonna go round and round and round and you drive yourself mad. Um, but so we'll cut out of my fucking. I'm so fucking. I'm such a know it all. Um, <laughs> and I will end this video here and do some editing tidy things up and um i'll make another quick video of it washed out straightened and you know out in the sunlight what it's like in the dark um <laughs> it's, it's really really cool color it's taken beautifully um these parts here where it looks a little bubble gum blue i think i think they might be quite close to that colour once it's washed out. It's it's kind of funny to say because, it's, like I said, it depends on the levels of where your hair is, um, where your hair colour is at. But I think it's a beautiful colour. And if you, yeah, if you really really want these sort of crazy colours, mates, fucking take your time for your bleachings and make sure that um, you don't rush it and just throw a colour on because you're like sort of bingery yellow and you're like ah, you know um maybe look into toners and see see um what your hair color is going to turn out like if you tone it down at that stage um sort of a thing um if that helps anybody but it's looking pretty cool and i kind of i kind of like that color that's in there um on the camera it's it's like that bubble gum color isn't it but in real life it's quite blue quite a dark blue but it might be because I had metallic silver on here and not any purple which is why it's not mixing with the purple down here like it is down here don't know but I will get back to you on that because um, like I said different tonings different levels of silvers really take hair colour way differently but so far so good Hey everybody, so I washed my hair out. I didn't end up leaving it on overnight. I got impatient. Um, so it's still wet at the moment. It's drying. Um, some parts didn't stick um, as well as the rest. Purely, like I said earlier, levels of bleaching. Just where I'd re-bleached my last band. Um, and it had expanded up and slowly, I mean it slightly bleached that maybe a couple shades and um that didn't take as well as the rest of it the rest of it come out beautiful blue color um really even other than my roots where the color just was just a, it's just a different shade um but for the fact that once my roots are tidied up and they are one solid color again which i won't be doing for a wee while because i like to leave a really good gap so when I do bleach and I can let it come back to my roots and then um, I can do a couple minutes on my roots once I do though say it grows out to about here I can only you know leave a good fucking centimeter before my roots maybe just under um, depending and then I can come in with my roots once um, and once only 99% of the time because the expansion usually pushes up into my roots and kind of high, highlights it a little bit and lifts it um, a shade or two and then I can come in once more and it will be white or, you know, transparent yellow. So until that happens, um, good as gold. Otherwise, because um, you don't really notice that um, those sorts of things, when your hair's dry and styled, um, it, it it's really ironic actually that but um when it's a bit wetter you can sort of see those um those lighter shades just where it hasn't grabbed um purely for like it took but just some parts are just like only fucking 
I don't know, a couple mils here and there where it did not grab um, very nicely at all because of the depth of where my colours were sitting. Um, my ends, I love them, they are bright blue and they are a beautiful blue. Um, again, like I said earlier, they look, it, it looks baby blue like that colour there, it's really not, it's fucking like dark, dark, rich sea blue, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm just sitting outside to try and dry it out and um, I did have a lot of colour coming through, coming out as I was washing it. I did my normal wash, um, I do use some pretty strong shit sometimes if I haven't washed my hair in a long time. It was nearly a week for me because I was waiting for this product and I did not want to wash it once. Um, in case I had to have bleached it and then my oils would have been gone and then um, for example, if the colour didn't come out on a test strand how I wanted it to, then I would have had to have bleached again and da 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 da, would have needed oils on my hair. But, um, anyway, fucking, so yeah, I did get a lot of colour run, which I'm a little bit gutted about, because I am wondering whether it is actually a little bit more faded than what I think it is, um, already. But, once hype, um, out of the colour, crazy colour range comes, I will, for sure, make um a video then of a touch up um and then i'll do another one once this washes out and we will see what color it washes out to you all saw my hair beforehand it was that lavender silver color um and my sides took pretty good they're still quite um they're still kind of like a shade off from my ends they still probably need another bleaching um Technically speaking, like they're pretty close, they're really not far off <laughs> at all. But, um, yeah, they came out pretty good. It covered my whole hair, and um, I haven't dried it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be nice and bright. Um, I'll quickly bring go inside. Yeah, see, it really looks bubblegum, doesn't it? In some places. Um, it's really that colour, pretty much. Um, I guess it just depends where we stand. But it's cool. It's different, you know. Pretty fun. Um, and I'm happy with it. I'm a little excited about it. But yeah. So. Came out okay. May or may not keep this video. I'm not too sure yet. Um. As you can see, I've got some parts that have taken real crazily and some parts that haven't. Like I said, that is just one shade off, eh? One bleaching away. But, nope. That's it, so. Um, let's have a good day.